FB tweet. Pinterest email send text message print. Elliot Page says he was not okay during the time his hit film Juno was at the height of its popularity. In a new cover interview for Esquire's summer 2022 issue, the 35-year-old Academy Award nominee, who is transgender, recalled the feeling of being closeted during awards season for the Diablo Cody written dramedy. I was closeted, dressed in heels and the whole look, I wasn't okay, and I didn't know how to talk about that with anyone, Page said. While he can't pinpoint a worse day, Page said, when Juno was blowing up, this sounds strange to people, and I get that people don't understand. Oh, F, you, you're famous, and you have money, and you had to wear a dress, boohoo. I don't not understand that reaction. But that's mixed with, I wish people would understand that that s, literally did almost kill me, added Page, who is set to release a memoir, Page Boy, next year. Elliot Page challenges the idea that playing cisgender roles is an accomplishment for trans actors. The actor went on to say he could talk to Catherine Keener, his oldest friend in L.A., whom he starred with in an American crime that same year. I was living in a hotel by myself, and she came and got me. I lived with her, Paige said. For my 21st birthday, she had a surprise party for me. I didn't really know anybody, so everyone wore name tags. I wore one, too. Nobody knew me, and they brought these funny little gifts. It was really sweet. The Umbrella Academy star told Esquire he even has a tattoo dedicated to Keener, 63, whom he has known since he was 19, and that it's the first tattoo, he, ever got. It's my nickname for her, which is C. Keens. That's just under my top right shoulder, Paige said. Keener taught me not to take bulls, to keep my feet on the ground, to live my truth and to take care of my heart. The Canadian actor said he was expected to wear a dress during press events for Juno and recalled to Esquire, all the photo shoots, Michael Sarah was in slacks and sneakers. I look back at the photos, and am like, and it's easy for people to roll their eyes, but you know what? No. That was really extremely, extremely f, ed up. I shouldn't have to treat it like just this thing that happened, this somewhat normal thing. It's like, no. Regardless of me being trans, Paige said. I've had people who've apologized about things, sorry. I didn't know, I didn't know at the time. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if I'm trans or cis. Lots of cis women dress how I dress. That has nothing to f ing do with it. Paige recalled people, especially teenage girls, really responding to that character, Juno, after the movie premiered in December 2007. The vibe, something that was, if not non-existent, it was new for a film that reached the audience it reached, and with her as the title character, he continued of the movie, which went on to win Best Original Screenplay for Cody, 43, at the Oscars. It related to my queerness and my transness. For Paige, the juxtaposition between the film's success and major profit, both for the film itself and the buzz about soundtrack, compared to some of the behind-the-scenes aspects felt gross. So you're benefiting greatly from this character that connected with people, and then you do that. It's gross, he said. I wish I could go back and experience it now. As me, 